happens whoa, to your whoa, sister. Whoa, 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 whoa. Slow up here, old buddy. Did CBS3 ruin its chances of obtaining future interviews with Joe Biden and Barack Obama? You're getting this mixed up with all due respect. These are apples and oranges. Sources at CBS3 say the senator from Delaware, who could be the next vice president of the United States, told his campaign to bar CBS3 from any further interviews. And Obama talks about spreading the wealth around and everyone does better that way. Is that not, you know, being kind of a socialist? That's what, you know, your accusers are saying here. Oh, no, 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 no. And wouldn't they not. just pass that on to Absolutely the consumer? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Well, please explain not. that. Absolutely not. CBS3 interviewed Biden last Thursday. This pure hokum. It's the same kind of malarkey that the Republicans have been putting out. Chris May didn't seem to have all the facts. The, the Washington Times is reporting that uh, you paid more than $2 million in campaign cash over the years to family members for uh, campaign services. That's of $2 million, a, in fact. No, well, that's not true. $1.8 million dollars from media consulting to Joe Slade, White and Company. Yeah, that's not... $50,000. Biden was said to be furious about the questions. He expected to be asked about the last presidential debate and the Phillies. A another another one hundred not true. Another one hundred and fifty thousand, though, sir, to a, to a law firm founded by your son. These are all again appropriate again, payments. Again, dead wrong. Whoa, whoa, dead wrong. A law firm wasn't founded by my son. The law firm's been around since 1972. Insiders claim as soon as Biden finished the interview, he had an aide call the Obama Biden campaign national headquarters with instructions to deny any future interview requests by CBS3. CBS3 insiders claim emails flooded the station comparing CBS3 to Fox News and faulting the station for practicing ambush journalism. Managers at CBS3 were said to be so embarrassed they did not rerun the 4 p.m. newscast on their website. CBS3 did not return calls for comment. Oops, it sounds like a local vice presidential candidate has banned a local TV news station from interviewing him. That just can't be good. No parking in front of...